picture perfect, you don't need no filter. Boy, just make them drop dead, you a killer. I know my hair looks insane I just woke up so good morning to all and happy New Year's um, I'm currently thinking that I want to straighten my hair because I just reached back to Florida and the weather looks like it's gonna drop this week so I guess I'm just gonna do my hair for a Sunday reset I need to get my lashes done I need to get my nails done so I feel a little like bummy right now so at least like doing my hair will make me feel a little bit better um, but I do want to show you guys like two products that I did repurchase. I never really knew the benefits of apple cider vinegar, like washing your hair with it. But um, I did hear that it's pretty good, especially for curly hair. So I am trying this. And um, I've been using it. This is the second bottle. I can say for people that have like thicker hair or if you use it often, you are going to need a lot of this. Um, like more often and it's kind of pricey so it does work normally like as a co-wash it is pretty good it doesn't like strip your hair of any natural oils or anything it doesn't also leave your hair smelly because that was something that i was like very like you know you want to wash your hair and you want it to smell fresh you don't want it to smell like apple cider vinegar but it does actually work it's really good and then the second thing that i rebought was the tgin this is a hair mask rose water my hair has been super dry i haven't really been taking care of it i haven't been doing treatments at all so i am going to use these two products first while i'm in the shower and then i will catch back up with you guys after Make sure that you don't need no mentions Yeah, these are my only intentions Shout out to your mom and dad for making you Stand in the ocean, they did a great job raising you When I create, you're my muse The kind of smile that makes the news Can't nobody throw shade on your name in these streets Triple threat, you a boss, you a bait, you a beast You make it easy to choose You got a mean touch, you can't refuse No, I can't refuse it Picture perfect, you don't need As you can see, I sweat out my hair probably like for three days. It's now Thursday and I did my hair on Sunday and I've been to the gym three times this week. So my hair is literally, I mean my hair is always frizzy, but my hair is literally frizzy and I would like to preserve it for at least until the end of the weekend. Um, the ends are still like good. They're still bouncy. It needs a little bit of oil, but I am filming a video for you guys today. So I'm going to show you guys how I also refresh my hair. So if you're interested in that, keep watching this video. Your girl is back. I feel like I need to refresh my hair because it is like days old now. And I've been going to the gym and just... I haven't even retouched my hair. I've just been putting it in a ponytail or a bun because I'm not going anywhere. I'm not sure what exactly I want to do to my hair. I don't know if I should like fully straighten, like like pin straighten my hair. Um, I normally like having like the curly, volumey look only because it's just easier to manage. Like when your hair is pin straight, I feel like you have to keep um, straightening your hair for it to look good versus when you kind of have it like you know like volumey uh like you just did it out of the setters or blow dry it um it's a lot easier to manage to me okay so this is how i've been wearing my hair every day but when i take my hair down i can kind of like just play around with it and then it looks pretty decent if you know you want to put it to the side um 
and do like a hairstyle or something wow this is wild i really need to go do my lashes but i kind of want all of them to fall out that's why i look insane right now um anyways so yeah i'm not sure i think i'm gonna like leave the the volumey look at the ends and kind of just refresh the roots so we gonna do it like how straight hair people do it and i'm gonna use dry shampoo I know nothing about dry shampoo. I normally don't do this. I normally just let my hair be greasy and find alternative ways of making my hair look cute. Um, let me read the directions first of all because I literally don't ever use dry shampoo. I don't even think I know how. Okay, so it basically just says to shake it, spray it probably like 12, so like 12 inches, so a foot away from your hair in sections and then massage your hair with your fingertips brush through if there's any excess so while we're doing that i'm gonna plug in my flat iron this should be interesting when i do my glam because i don't know how to put on fake lashes i was talking to my sister yesterday about how since i always pick out my lashes i should probably learn to put in those clusters the fake clusters so anyways dry shampoo i don't really think that that was a foot away but okay um i don't really care to do like all of the bottom of my hair that's why i only sectioned it like half up half down it's really like the top that I care about that's greasy because I want it more volumey, but the bottom can sit down properly. Like, I'm gonna straighten it anyways, but um, yeah. Okay, well, it didn't leave any residue, I don't think. But I don't think that I've sprayed enough. But like I said, I don't really care about the bottom like that. It's more about the top. I really hate the aerosol thing that comes out of it. Like it makes me wanna like cough. It smells like hairspray. I don't like hairspray. Okay, so if I start seeing any more that needs to like brush out or anything like that, I guess I'll just do it when I'm actually like going through and sectioning and straightening my hair. I told you guys that I like plugged in my flat iron. Your girl never turned it on, so it wasn't even heating up. So I always get asked like how I have like all these loose curls at the bottom of my hair. Um, so obviously I showed you guys how I blow dry my hair pretty much. Once I blow dry my hair, I put my hair in a bun. Um, once you put your hair in a bun, it keeps obviously like the curls at the end. Um, and I like to put oil then put it in a bun because then it kind of comes down like very like together and shiny and you don't have to like run your hair your hands back through your hair too much and then yeah my hair pretty much just stays like this so that's why i said it's easier for me to maintain my hair like this versus my hair being fully straight because i can just literally go to sleep with my hair in a bun versus when my hair is fully straight i don't really know how to sleep like because i hate my hair being down when i'm sleeping but if i put it up then there's a crease in my hair and i have to do it again i'm gonna start with the bottom of my hair so as you can see, I'm not really straightening the bottoms of my hair. It really is just the roots to maybe like, to like right here, which is where I mostly put my like ponytail or whatever. This year, I have been saying that I want to become better with content in general. Um, so that literally includes from filming all the way to editing and just being more consistent in general on social media. So if you are watching this part, I would love to know like the type of style that you guys like. I'm very into doing like aesthetically pleasing videos, um, but I mostly do those for TikTok and Instagram. But I would like to start doing videos as such on YouTube as well. I just don't feel as if my audience, you guys, um, would relate to it as much. Because I feel as if when I talk more in videos is when you guys like it. Versus when I'm like just showing you guys things. Um, 
so I'm not really sure like if that would be fitting for my audience pretty much. I'm still trying to like kind of find myself or my style in filming and editing. Um, I've been kind of doing like no joke. I've been kind of doing like my homework in the sense that I post different videos, like almost all of my videos on YouTube so far. I hate my baby hairs, by the way. My baby hairs literally make me look like a child, one. But when I'm doing like hairstyles, they just be in the air sticking up. Okay, so let me show you guys. Like for instance, this piece is literally, like you see how it's just kind of like curly? So this is how you would achieve the look if you were doing it with a flat iron. Um, I do it away from my face, like a curling iron. And then you see how it has a little bounce now and it plays back into my hair very perfectly now. And it's not frizzy. So that's what you would normally do if you wanted like literally all of these curls. Like if your hair naturally doesn't get like this when you put it in a bun, you could do, you could use a strainer like that. My strainer, the edges are round, so that's why it works. So if you do have like a flat iron that's like flat, it's not gonna work. Like my roots are straighter, still bouncy, still good or whatever the case is. The ends of my hair is still bouncy. So I'm just gonna put my hair back in a bun. I'm gonna put it in a lower bun this time though, just because like all of my roots are strained already. So basically if you notice, this is where I stopped straightening my hair. Basically to where my hair goes into a ponytail or a bun or whatever. But I'm just gonna put it in the bun so like I said, it's just to preserve like the volume curliness or whatever that's going on at the end. Thank you guys for watching and if you guys like this video, don't forget to like it below, leave a comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.